Hey there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the stock fan from your red and black 80 watt laser and install an external exhaust system. So the first thing I wanted to do was upgrade my exhaust system. And as you can see, there are two screws there and there's two screws at the bottom, which means that you have to lower the bed all the way to the bottom. Now, when I tried to do that, I discovered that my air assist is basically right under the bed, which stops me from getting to those last two screws. So um, I plan on upgrading my air assist later, but for now, if you wiggle it a little bit, it has these little rubber feet on the bottom that pop out. So I just pop those out of place and I just move it off to the side. So now I can lower my bed. Um, and if you wanna go a step further, you can remove this, you know, twist and remove this connection. So you have a little bit more leeway to get that out of the way. Okay, so now I have the screws removed uh, you can see the plate is down so what we're going to do next is if you see that white binded wire back there it actually is this red and black cable and that's the power for the fan so we're going to follow this cable which as we can see goes into the back of our track where our air assist was and we're going to follow that around to the other side of the machine and remove it so so we're at the back of the machine. We can see the red black cable goes into where the fan is, leads out to here. And we just kind of pull this along past here. And it leads into the machine on the other side. Now we see where these go into here. So we're gonna remove this and follow it along to see where it connects over there. So as you can see on the other side, there are a lot of red and black cables over here. So just make sure you're following the ones coming out of here. So you can lift those up out of the track. It's easier to do this with two hands, so I'm going to remove this out of the track and then show you where it connects into. Okay, so as you can see, there's a mess of red and black cables here. So, um, going back to where we were, red and black cable, red and black cable, follow along. You're looking here. You see my red cable is that connection and my black cable is that connection. So we're going to loosen these two screws and there should be a plastic plate over all your connections that I removed. So we're going to remove it, or loosen these two screws and remove this cable and this cable. So now that you've disconnected your red and black wire from your laser, you can go and if you haven't already, you can remove the zip tie keeping this wire connected and just fish the wire through the hole. And there you go. And now we're gonna remove the actual fan part and keep the housing uh, because that way we'll have a housing to connect our new ductwork to. So to get the fan out of the housing, uh, if you have your uh, eight millimeter wrench that you use to align your mirrors, this will be a good one or you know any set of pliers just to kind of loosen up this nut. So you need to loosen those up to get the screws out uh, so you can take out the actual fan blades. All right, so now we have the stock fan disconnected from the faceplate and the collar. 
And what I did, I went ahead and put the screws back in just so I have them if I ever decide to put it all back together and sell it because I want to keep my air compressor and everything else attached uh, and my exhaust fan. So, you know, keep the extra pieces as long as they work. So what we're going to do now is take this plate, mount it so that it lines up with the holes here, put these two together and then mount it back inside your laser. So now you have a collar so that you can attach your exhaust tube to your upgraded exhaust system. All right, now that the plate is back installed, we can see it sits a little further in, but that's okay. Uh, like I said, we're just attaching a duct here. And now I get to unbox this guy, the Cloud Series roof fan for inline duct system. I believe this thing is rated for all about uh, 600 maybe CFMs. It'll probably tell me more in the directions or the instructions. But uh, from everything I've seen and read, this is the one to get because not only does it pull a lot of air out, uh, it's also really quiet, which is great when you know you're stuck in a shop and you don't want to hear a fan going and you definitely want to make sure all the smoke and whatever else is coming off the, the whatever you're burning on the laser is getting blown out of the shop so uh now i'm going to take this out and set it up all right so in the box you get your cloud flare unit you get uh zip ties connection brackets which will probably go to the hoses and the lines uh, get your collar instruction manual and your power adapter so this device you'll mount closest to wherever your machine is that's why this can be higher up in the ceiling or wherever and you just mount this to the wall uh, and it just plugs in right through there and that way you can turn it up and down on and off uh, you know closer to where you are so it's not a wireless system but it comes with a really long uh, connection cable and a power cable uh, to you know do all your work Okay, plate is in. I've connected the first exhaust fan that came with the system to the AC Infinity and the other ductwork. I may buy more of that ductwork because I just think it looks a lot slicker going through there, but it's a visual thing. Um, I haven't fully decided where I plan on mounting this. Either you can mount it to the wall. Uh, there are ways that you can attach a ring and mount it to your ceiling so however you plan on mounting it but just to show how it all works like i said this is the long control cable it's slowly starting to come up you can kind of hear it and so it's on it's at about almost half power I'm going to turn it all the way up. So this is max power. Um, so I can still hear myself. And like I said, this will be mounted to a wall or a, a ceiling or just somewhere, you know, off the floor. But this is about as loud as it gets compared to the fan that came in the system. And I have a good amount of suction going. So I have a good amount of uh, suction going. You can just see that, you know, it is on, it is working. Feel good pull coming from there. So yeah. So I uh, went and I upgraded the exhaust first because I really just wanted to make sure that anything I do right now, tonight, tomorrow, at least all the bad stuff is flowing out of the garage. Um, and that way, like when I go around to updating my air assist and anything else, the main thing is all the bad chemicals are flowing out of the garage away from me, away from everything, so I'm gonna stop breathing stuff in. 